All right, just like I'll always be remembered as Danny Partridge, my <laughs> next guest is always going to be remembered as Cindy Brady. You remember the youngest one in curls. Thank you. All right, she is currently co-hosting a local radio show on KLSX Radio. Please welcome my pal, Susan Olson. <laughs> Well, I realized I was going to put like red stuff all over ah, you. So, well, I appreciate being it. considerate. I have had all sorts of Hollywood things happen to me since I, you know, I'm from Chicago. It's different back there. You're not from Chicago. You're from the valley. No, but you know what? I, things change. I'll, I'll give you an example. I was in. You're right. I'm from Woodland Hills, just yeah, like you. I'm from Tarzana. I was at. Uh, <laughs> it's a total Hollywood thing to have happen. You'll you'll appreciate this. I'm at a restaurant, like a snooty restaurant, yesterday with some Hollywood guy, and the the maitre d' or the manager comes up and he goes. Mr. Bonaducci, the studio on the phone for you. I go, wow, how cool is that? And I walk around the corner, he goes, I'm sorry, sir, I just didn't want to embarrass you. Your credit card has been declined. Oh, you know, oh that's so in cool. In Chicago, they just shoot you, you know? <laughs> so, so cool. It was so Hollywood. So you have been up to uh, great things since I last saw you. Aside from the radio show, you just got married. Yes, Congratulations. Yes. August 18th. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of this rock. Can we get a shot of this? What does this guy do that makes him so rich? That's beautiful. Uh, he gets his priorities straight. Right on. <laughs> so, how is married life? Uh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah, you like it's it? my second time around, but the second time is, is right. the best. You're, the first time was rehearsal. Oh, exactly. That's the way I yeah. look at it. Well, I gotta know, did the Bradys show up at the wedding? Um, yes, all six of the Brady kids. Now, the adults, quote unquote, we're all adults, but. Um, Florence Henderson and Ann B. Davis both were out of town, so they right. couldn't make it. But um, all six of the kids were in one room all together for the first time in about 10 years. Wow. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. I, can you imagine great. showing up at that wedding? I know. It, it was too weird. I, you know, you're supposed to be at the Johnson wedding, and you go, oh, my God, it's the entire Brady Bunch. Well, it's weird because there was, there was my family, and then there was my husband's family, and then there's the third family. Right. You know? So there was like three sets of family pictures to be taken. And are uh, and the ones that will show up in the Enquirer, I assume, are of the Brady Bunch. No, absolutely no press at the wedding. Good I, for I you. managed it. Because yeah. it's it's a you know a Brady Bunch reunion is kind of a big thing. I'd be yeah. interested in that. How, how come you weren't? If in, you pay me, I'll, I'll you know, you're in. I'll, I'll work something out. You did all the Brady Bunch reunions aside from a very Brady Christmas. Yeah. Why didn't you do that one? Um, well, that was the first wedding, and I I had a honeymoon to go on. I was going to Jamaica. So, um, conflicting schedules and basically not enough money. I understand that. Um, <laughs> so, so wow. I went to Jamaica and it was, it was kind of interesting to, to not do one of the reunions. I kind of needed that. And then of course when they came back and we did a series that um, unfortunately nobody knows about. It was called Brady's. We did six episodes. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Nobody saw it. <laughs> did anybody here see that? Some I did Some people those. saw it. A couple of people yeah. saw it. Well, when you're not uh, doing the Brady Bunch reunions, and I know about your radio show, we'll get there one second. I want to talk to you about some of the other things you've done and have been accused of doing. Now, I know you know about this because I asked you on the radio show. There's a rumor that you were a porno star. Yes, yes. Um, actually, I, I have to confess that I... <laughs> Are you going to confess? I do. I Go! Have, I have one little, little teeny itty bitty porn credit, but I didn't actually get credit, but... I did the, um, the spaceship background sound effect noises for, <laughs> for Love Probe from a Warm Planet. I'm sorry. No, I did not take off my clothes. I just, I, I, <laughs> I programmed a computer to do spaceship noises. Ah. Yeah. And, the, and then the movie was called once again? Love Probe from a Warm Planet. I just wanted to make you say it twice. Thanks. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I, I know where the, the rumors started about me doing porns. Apparently there is a girl um, named Susan Olson who is in a porn film called Crocodile D. It, it is not me. No who way. Who thinks of these names? <laughs> I don't know, but I think they're Love great. Love Pro from a warm planet and Crocodile Blondie. It's a great industry. Your imagination. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, these are gigs you didn't do. What are some of the hell gigs that you did do? Like, did you do the supermarket openings and that kind of thing? Well, when we were kids, um, there, there used to be a chain of, of 
department stores called White Fronts. And they right. were kind of discount stores, and that's where we sold all of our record albums. And um, so we went around and did some, some tours of those things, and that's not very glamorous. But um, in later years, I kind of avoid yeah. car washes and... Uh, I used to do that stuff all the time. You know what I can guarantee work? Eddie Munster can work every Halloween, guaranteed, yeah, for no, real. True. And I used to work every Christmas. A radio station or some other place would call me up and they'd give me like 500 bucks to sit in a tree in front of their radio station. I'd be a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> oh, it was horrifying. I'm sorry. It was horrifying. So, the, the scariest thing is that you did it. <laughs> I, I needed the money. The thing was, I'd do it to pay my rent, but I'd get so embarrassed that oh. I'd just go out and buy a bottle of tequila and spend the whole day f***ing out of this tree. Oh. Um, now, okay, that? I think my story is a little worse than yours for hell gigs. What do you think about, say, the Partridge family versus the Brady Bunch in full contact kickboxing? <laughs> who, who do you like? Um, I don't know. You know, Brady's... Um, Which show did you like are, better? They're pretty, pretty buff. <laughs> now, are we going to put... Uh, could. Shirley Jones against Florence Henderson. Can Shirley Jones would kick her ass. Can I say that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm loyal to my troop. Well, actually, I have the pleasure of uh, actually wrestling uh, Chris Knight, who played Peter Brady. I believe we have some footage of that. Take a look at your monitors. Watch this. Watch this. That's going to be a theme. Last night, Boom Boom Man hit me in the head over here. I'm going to hit a guest every night, apparently. Um, well, not, I'll be seeing. <laughs> Ray, do you remember the first time we met? I mean, this is, yes, we've known yes, each other I for do. a long time. Yeah, um, the Santa Claus Lane Parade, when I guess, I, I think I was about eight. Eight years old yeah, when we you met? Yeah, maybe nine or ten. Wow, how come you look so much better than me? I've aged badly. I didn't notice that. I thought you were like eight years <laughs> I younger than I. I was just thinking that you aged really well. Yes, well, chemicals. I am, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm embalmed. Uh, tell me about your radio show. What's the format on that? Uh, the format is, well, it's talk. And uh, it's real radio, 97.1. And um, right. it's talk, it's... but it's not, it's not like Bosnia. You know, we're more likely to talk about flatulence than um, Excuse you know, me? actual... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, world issues. It, it's more the stuff that the stuff that you talk about. You kibitz at lunch. Yeah, you kibitz yeah. for you. Kibitz. I'm stuff spritzing when important. I kibitz. <laughs> yeah, it's not important stuff, but it's the stuff that people think about. Like you said, flatulence. Well, yeah, that's that's one of the things. One of our um, <laughs> explain more, that to me. How one of our more on? distinguished guests was the president of Bino, explaining this wonderful product. It is a product that um, <laughs> prevents you from getting gas. And, of course, we thought that this was an important issue that our listeners should know about. That is an important issue. That is talk radio, in my opinion, at its finest. And Anybody can talk politics. Only Susan Olson can talk flatulence and get away with it. Right. <laughs> and there was a guy that had done a study on um, injuries to the groin. And, of course, we had to interview him and find out about this study. And, of course, it was, it was a very serious topic, which was followed by people calling in with all kinds of stories that, that just made everybody cross their legs. I understand. I gotta listen to this more often since I'm out here. Uh, if people are looking for this radio uh, station, where is it on the dial? It's 97.1. Thank FM. you very much. Susan Olsen, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Next, one of the funniest comedians in the business, Andy Kindler. Stay tuned. Very fun. Some of the world's best tasting. Cerritos for.